Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Rizel Type C Defensor B unit. A unit again from the lineage of the Zeta. It is most closely related to the Rizel and it is a version of the Rizel that has its limiters um, taken off. So it's a high performance unit with some control problems with normal type pilots in game it is a 650 cost ground and space cable capable support <laughs> with a ballistic and beam resistance of 26 a melee resistance of 20 a range strength of 55 the plus ones from the upgrade a melee strength of 10 a movement speed of a very nice 135 and a thrust gauge of 75 for parts, we have close range of 12, medium of 20, and long range of 16. The unit's got a pretty well-rounded number of uh, parts you can put on. For equipment, we have the Rizel Beam Rifle. It's the only option it has. It is an ammo-based, chargeable beam rifle. Uh, we have the Rizel Beam Saver, because you can whiffle that too. We have the Arm Grenade Launcher. This has been on a number of different units. It does some pretty decent damage. And it's good for ferreting out pilots and throwing in a little extra damage on units. We have the 60mm Vulcan Gun, which are effectively head-mounted Vulcans. They do some decent damage. They have okay range. I use them mostly to help build up staggered or to annoy people. We got the Shield Beam Cannon. Whew. It is a cannon mounted in the shield. It will fire, I believe, a burst of three shots uncharged, but charged it shoots one large shot that does staggering. Then we have the Mega Beam Launcher Times 2. These are mounted on the back. They're required to be charged, but you can move while doing it. Once you fire it, you go stationary, and it shoots a long blasting blast for a certain amount of time that does some decent amount of damage. Then we have the Rizel Long Beam Saber. This pops out of the end of the beam rifle, which is based off the Zeta's beam rifle, and it gives you a bit of a long ranged punch. And of course, we have a large sized shield. For skills, here we go. We have high performance radar level three, high performance scope level three, observational data link, anti stealth, high performance aerospace gimbal, scouting parallel defense, <laughs> a processing device, transformation, it can transform. We have fall prevention system, damage control. Flight Control Program Level 2, High Performance Balancers, which is nice. <sighs> high Spec AMBAC Level 2, Forced Injector Level 2, extremely nice. Shield Tackle, and Wings Special Cushioning Level 2. In Transform Mode, you have this assortment. You have Ram Attack, for example, and a few other little uh, touches and bobs. My opinion of this suit is this is a fabulous support. It probably should be, in a lot of cases, be the model of supports, especially in higher cost. It's fairly uh, quick. It's fairly nimble. It's capable of being uh, maneuvering around. It can really ha answer a lot of situations, and it can put up a bit of a fight in melee. And it has options to get away as well. Honestly, I think it's one of the, the better supports in the game. It's fabulous, it's fun to play, and I like it. Shibbly swabbly do. Let's see how it does in the match. Welcome to the match, everybody. I'm not much of a Rizal guy, but I do absolutely love the Zeta Gundam. So, I was searching for about a 650 cost support I could get some use out of you know unlike the Quebly mass production which is probably the worst of the Quebleys this unit's actually pretty dang good so I'm gonna give it that right off the frickin bat before we even get into the match it's just that good as this screen takes forever and we get finally in there and I don't have to keep 
press pwning. So we're going to slide over to the right because a lot of teams I have have a nasty habit of immediately running away and letting you die. Charge this, get our be double beams off, not do as much damage as I want, but it was a fellow support. So I'm going to switch over to melee, expecting to have gotten rushed by now. And we're going to charge our beam rifle. We see a guy over here. We're going to take a shot in just a sec. There we go. Just to see if he comes out. But we see what's going on over here. And this unit's fairly maneuverable. So we're not going to stay there and die. So we're going to come on over here. We see some fighting going on. We see that guy over there. We're going to miss with that shot. And we're going to charge our attack and drop that right into him for a little bit of decent damage. And we're going to switch over here because we see what's going on. And we're going to charge up our shot, fire, miss, have a guy immediately walk in front of us. <laughs> Watch that unit die. Switch over to the head Vulcan, kill him charge up our attack and then we're going to start pushing a little bit we're going to take a shot and miss him there but I see a guy to the right so I want to come over and give a little bit of a hand to my one guy come in we're going to immediately catch him with that down strike uh, charge into him and well not quite finish off the suit I do like how aggressive this suit can get we're going to fire, take his shield, throw some of those grenades because we expected him to be moving. Catch him with that shot. We're going to charge up our doubles. Stop. Fire a little short because we, there is a little slide to the unit. Come in. Catch him with that melee. Not finish him off. Sensing the trend. I am. <laughs> I'm going to slide back over here. Because I'm trying to keep as close to my guy as I can. Take a shot. Put that right in his face. Take a quarter of his health off. For some more shots, he's going to decide, Nah, I don't want that, brah. And then leave. So I'm going to come up the ramp to help my team, who's nice and aggressive, which works really well for me. Fire into him. He's got a really cool little paint job going for his Zeta there. And we're going to come over, Charger Fang, pop it into his face, come in, Catch him with that, but not knock him down. Or is that the support one? I can't... No, that's not the support version. He's a he's a crafty guy. So we're going to come in, miss with our attack. He's going to catch us with some bullshit right there. And it's a Zeta off, ladies and gentlemen. Which version? The three generations later or the generation on generation action? He died, so it's fine. So we're going to keep on moving and uh, we're not going to talk about the monster truck rally voice and just keep on keeping on. So our team is doing really nice. They're very aggressive. I like this unit's potential. We're going to take a shot right into his poor face. We're going to help uh, our man get a little bit aggressive down there. We're going to come down, put some shots into him, but largely miss. Come in, help get him with that melee but you know a little too slow there now we're safe from support fire fun fact so we see a fight going on over here we're gonna push up and at the time I didn't know it was a uh, a raid there. and then I realized wait a minute that's a raid so we're gonna catch a little bit of that damage but clash with our guy we're gonna hold our shot fire it directly into his back get a little bit of that there Number five is going off as we try to support him. We're going to charge up our shot. We're going to fire through the flame and the smoke. And we're going to catch that guy. Then throw a shot in. I'm going to push up the support five as best I can. Now, Mr. Golden Zeta is indeed a beast as we catch him with that poke. And then a swipe. I'm not trying to knock him down yet. But my team is going hard. And this is a Zeta on Zeta fight. Now, I get a little aggressive here. Uh, nice nice maneuver on the guy with the GP there. We're going to charge our shot. We're going to then have a guy come up on our side. Our team is indeed going for it. So we're going to tank a couple shots. Um, our team is a little spread out. And we're getting pressed. And we don't have exactly the best options. I don't know why they're ignoring the GP. 
But they're ignoring him for some reason. He's now no longer ignored. The Zeta gives him a little damage. We're going to throw some of that sweet damage into his leg. As my cat decides that he must be here right now. And we're going to finish him off with the Vulcan. Again, never underestimate the power of a Vulcan, my friend. Not a Star Trek reference. We're going to smack him in our transformation mode, come over here, and slide back. We don't want to uh, stay in this spot too long as we use our melee, because, uh, you know, you don't want to be someone's body shield, Mr. Quebley. But we're going to have to do what we can do. We're going to do a little bit of charging up our attack, and then catch him just enough to stagger him for the Moon Gundam to give him a bit of a pressing. And you can see this unit does some... Kind of silly amounts of damage as we accidentally shoot our guy, throw in a shot, sneaking it under the wing and taking that lad. Now we're almost dead so I decide I'm just going to suicide charge into them and bam, first death. Well we're going to spawn in at D and our team is being very aggressive but they have spread all over the place. We got a guy trying to get out of there. I appreciate this golden Zeta guy because he is not going out without a fight. We're going to drop in, turn, not get the shot in on him because we have two guys to our left. We're going to turn to face them, charge our shot, miss completely, and they're going to get swarmed um, by number five, who is a complete animal who probably should have some war crime charges at this point. But we're going to uh, continue pushing. I see our team's gotten a little bit... Uh, torn down so I'm going to shift back a little bit so I can act as more fire support for two and try to keep things going as long as I can with the Quebla at least in terms of fire light see a guy behind us turn catch him with that double charge beam the Quebla with is going to turn with me as uh, our dude on their base gets another guy to help and I'm not going to chase that Zeta down we're going to turn back around um, in this very Zeta heavy match, come in, take a shot, take him out. Now we see, oh, he's come back. This man is a monster. He does not believe in surrender. So we're going to come in. Yep, he is the HML. I was misidentifying him the whole time. Bravo, sir. And there's the match. Let's see how we did. So with, there is our very busy suit. And no board spot, but third place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.